Hello Gemini, this is your August, nope, October 15th, 2016 to October 31st, 2016 read. For the main read, I'm using the Morgan Greer Tarot. I still haven't found the de the backs for this deck, but it is the Morgan Greer Tarot. Very powerful deck. I very much like it. I had it a long time. And for the advice cards, I'm using the Magical Spell cards by Lucy Cavendish. I got this from a friend, and I think it's a great deck. I very much like it. So, I decided to use those. As normal, decks have been pre-shuffled, so let's get right into it. I'm thinking you can see me. I'm just trying to make the lighting a little better in this situation. Okay, this is... That's interesting. This is good. I'm actually wanting to fill in this spot here. Okay. What I have for your overall energy is the Queen of Rods. Which is great, because it's actually going with your advice card. That's kind of different toward it. That's interesting. The advice card is... It's taking time for your home. It's family life. It's home life. It's taking care of things at home. Um, it, even if it's one of those things where you have a lot of little projects started at home, it's a good time to continue with those. A good time to continue with those. Excuse me, I'm choking on my own face. <laughs> or um, if there's a couple things you want to wrap up, it's a good time for that too. I feel like a lot of a lot of Gemini energy going here is kind of like starting and stopping little things here and there. That's what I'm kind of getting. But I'm going forward, getting things a little farther forward, making some more plans. It's a, very much about home life is what I'm getting for this. Uh, family and home life. Or things that feel like home to you. As we start into this time frame, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with actually what's going on around you. Because I think it explains what's happening in your life. Around you... There's a lot of joy, there's people getting along, there's abundance of resources. I feel like someone is very much in love with you or loves you. I'm getting more lo in love with you. I feel like that's what's happening here. And there's other, like, there's a lot going on. There's people who very much, I'm coming back to this one. This one, there might be someone or a couple. Um... I feel like there's a couple that is very important to you. Now, this might be, um, like, your parents. This could be siblings, friends. Like, I feel like there's friends of you, a couple. It's like a couple of friends or relatives, something like that, that are really affecting your life. And I feel like they're helping you in a good way. Um, and in some cases, it's opposite. I feel like you might be helping them. But there's this couple is very important, it seems to the what's happening here because as we go into this time frame it's matching that queen of rods energy uh which is very much about the home um i'm getting home a lot this is definitely connected to fire but i always get especially with that sunflower it's always very a homey home feel for me and i feel like i feel like there's a lot of action at home i feel like you're when you start around the 15th you're actually looking at what you want to do you're kind of putting it together um, then as we go into the next spot, this, um, this card, these two cards are coming together, and the couple is right below that, that means a lot to you, um, which, the card, you have the seven of pentacles on top, and you have the six of pentacles below it. The way I'm reading this, this is a giving and or receiving card. And I almost feel like it's um, both ways. I feel like you're helping them, doing things for them. They're helping you, doing things for you. I almost feel like in some cases you may rent from these people. Or you may be spending a lot of time with these people. It's very interesting. I know it's a general read and I like to try to pinpoint what we're talking about. But with this situation, this couple around you is like, I feel like you're doing a lot with this couple. I'm really curious to see how this actually hits for somebody, so if you want to, like, leave a comment and let me know, because I'm getting, like, a few different scenarios. I'm getting, like, there are people you hang out with, and you're helping them 
do some project, they're helping you do some project, like you're helping each other. I feel like it's very help one, help the other. Like, I, it's not like you help me, I help you. It's like, I'm going to help you with this. They're like, well, what do you need help with? And then they help you. And then you're like, well, what do you need help with? And then you help them. And like, it's not like give give and take in a, in a demanding sense. I feel like it's more passive. Like, you helped me and I see you're doing this. Now I want to help you. And then they're like, oh, well, you helped us and we see you're doing that. Let us help you. I feel like it's very friendly care it's a very much caring for each other type of thing um i don't feel like it's obligation i feel like it's caring for each other and very much wanting to help each other um in some situations this is this is your partner and i feel like there's a lot of responsibilities connected with your partner they may have a child or some other or a parent or a relative or friend they care for and you're helping that and but you're you're kind of learning that okay we help this person or that whatever in this way and then they return it in the same not in the same exact way but they return like the favor in a certain way and i think i think you're learning how this relationship is really has this infinite you know loving give and take not out of obligation but out of love going on there and it could be you and your partner that you could just be getting along with very well and there's a very give and take I, I, again, it's coming back. It's for some reason we need to make the point that it's not out of obligation. It's kind of like you see they need help, so you help them or that person. If they see you need help and they want to help you. Like it's not like oh I helped you now I owe you. It's not like that. It's very much they want to and you want to. That's what's going on here. Um, as we go forward, there's there's just love is flowing for you i mean if you're not in a romantic romantic relationship in this section if this has nothing to do with that you are definitely enjoying the people you're around you're feeling very at home there's a lot of good things going forward i feel like um feeling very appreciated using your talents like i feel like multitasking and th seeing things from different angles are, are very much in play here and very much helpful here I feel like people are impressed with your your intelligence and the different views you bring to the table. Um, I feel like you're def I also feel like you're definitely um, a productive person in this situation. You're very much in it. And with certain signs, like I'm Pisces, Pisces can get drowned down and kind of washed out sometimes, or they can like, be the wave and keep going and just follow their selves, follow themselves well, and be very productive. It's kind of the same thing because you're another mutable sign like Pisces, that's why I'm saying it, where Gemini can kind of get lost in their own thoughts and be very, have a million things in their mind, but not a lot happening in life. But in this section, I feel like you're very active and like the thoughts are going, but the action is there to match it. And I feel like these people are also helping with that. And I feel like it's a great thing. Like, I feel like the action and the thought are going hand in hand. It's working good. As we go closer to the 31st, you've got the Nine of Cups, which is just someone so happy and very happy with all their accomplishments. I feel like, especially in your case, there's a lot of things, a lot of mental activity that, you know, you see these cups, you're ready, you're ready to fill these cups. you got the cups all lined up and you're all happy because you know what you're going to put in these cups and it's just a matter of time before they're filled. In your case, that's what I'm getting for this card. It comes differently depending on how the card shows up in the reading and the energy I get for a card. I always read a card based on the energy I get off of it. And I'm definitely getting that. Like, you got all these cups and you're so excited because you got all the cups lined up and ready. And now they're just going to fill. And they're, it's almost like they're going to fill on their own because you've set everything up so well. So as a recap, because I, like, I feel like this reading went kind of quick, which is interesting. Um... Your overall energy is, I'm getting this is about the home. I think the sunflower is really about, because the sunflower is very important to me. And a lot of um, action there. I feel like there's a lot of um, building, sustaining, keeping relationships going. It's about home life, about things that make you feel like you're at home, things you want to do for home, um, things like that. Taking time to yourself in some cases. Even if you're taking time to yourself, though, I feel like you're being productive and you're getting things done at home projects you want to do, moving projects along a little farther, that type of thing. The home, I feel like it, like the home card comes up again right here, which is right next to it, which was a kind of a um, amplifier for the same feeling for me. 
Uh, and the, it says here, safe home, safe home protection. Which, to me, in this reading, is just telling me that you're taking care of things at home, family life. Home and family, that's all the same feeling for me personally, and that's what I'm getting from this card right now. It's very much about family, home. Uh, if you're a person like me as well, you have friendships that are more family than friendship, if that makes sense. You may not be blood-related, but you feel so connected that those friendships are more family. Like, that's the type of friendship that would also come and play at this time, an important friendship. And again, like someone that, even if you just met them a few weeks ago, they just have that feeling in your heart where you're just like, this is, like, they've always been there, and just now you've met them, but they've always been there, that type of thing. As we go into this time frame, I feel like you're planning and doing at the same time. I feel like there's action and planning. I feel like you're very much planning what you want to do, but there's you're also kind of doing it as you plan it, which is interesting. Um, the give and take, I feel like you're looking at, I feel like you're actually doing things, but also looking at things that are going to come in the future. I feel like you're getting projects started or pushing them a, f uh, a little farther ahead, but you're also seeing and getting excited about where they're going. The people around you are right with you. If this, if you're not in a relationship or this isn't relationship oriented for you, there's people around you who get along very well. And I'm getting in some cases, it could be just like your group of friends. Like it's more than one person that get along well, that you click right with, and it's just everything's going well. You're all having a good time. There's a lot of happiness going on with your friends. You're, very, you're getting along with them, they're getting along with you, everybody's, it's like, it's really kind of interesting, it's kind of like a Disney reading, in, set, in a sense, uh, by where everything seems to be working out perfectly, I'm not really seeing any bumps or hiccups, um, I feel like things are going, I feel like, you're like, things are going very well, you're seeing a lot of things go the way you want, I see that, um, there is definitely something, something important here that starts, um, like even if you're planning things in the head in, ahead in the future you're having that love and compassion and it's given back to you and people are definitely helping you get to the goal that you want to get to it's all right where you want it you're very happy the emotion is there like like you feel great i don't know how to explain this a little better like there's a, there's a version of this where you could go forward and think getting what you want but not that happy I think you're going forward, getting what you want, and you're ecstatic about it, and I feel like it's building more. I feel like this is connected to this card, and it's lining up those cups. Like, when this happens, it, like you line up all these cups, and you see all these possibilities, and things are on their way, and you can see it going that trajectory you want it to go, and you're just extremely happy about it. And again, this overall read, I'm getting that feel, home, family. Uh, friendships that feel like family, things like that. It's very much a part of who you are and either people that have been in your life for a long time or people that you plan to keep in your life for a long time and it's a lot of good feeling. It's very much about home life. Um, I'm just seeing if there's anything else that wants to pop out here. I'm not getting, well, I got one card here. Anything else? No, nope, this is So just as a final message, it's saying strength strength and family, strength and home. It's just building your nest, like building it higher, building it stronger, making it more beautiful for your for your needs, for what you want. Things are like, I feel like things are really going your way, which is, is really wonderful. <laughs> this is a great reading. I love this. Seems like a, a lot of the October 15th to 31st readings have been really great, which is a great thing. As Of course, as always, any comments, if you want to let me know what's going on, I always love to hear it. Thank you to everybody who's been commenting. I always appreciate it. I try to thumbs up where I can so you know I see, see have seen it. Sometimes things get going a little quickly and I'm on my phone or something and I don't have time to write a bunch of stuff, but I like to thumbs up it just so you know I saw it and appreciated it. So thank you. Of course, if you would like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.